He was the youngest member of the joint legislative team which crafted our independence constitution. With the passing of Edward Philip George Siago, the last survivor of that august group, Jamaica has closed another chapter in our political annals. No adversary or foe could deny his monumental impact on the course of our national life. In pursuit of his huge and varied portfolio responsibilities, he was entrusted with the task of completing the matrix of institutional building that was essential for the modern nation state. He set out to preserve and promote our rich cultural legacy while spawning new modules far and wide for Ireland's development. He was a leader of strong convictions and purpose courageous and energetic in the pursuit of a vision dedicated to our upliftment in the eyes of the world. As the longest serving parliamentarian, his incisive questions and at times devastating wit enriched the quality of our legislative deliberations. Edward Siaga to the very end, was blessed with the mental acuity to maintain his attention span for sports, music, and the learning process which had influenced the path of his earlier life. The fifth Prime Minister of Jamaica leaves behind an indelible impact on the political evolution of Jamaica and its social economic and cultural development. I join in sincere and humble salute as a grateful nation mourns the passing of a formidable political giant. I wish to extend my deepest sympathies to his wife Carla, his children, and the entire family at their bereavement. I also convey sincere condolences to the Jamaica Labour Party, the constituents of West Kingston, and the colleagues with whom he served over so many years faithfully and well.